Cave of the Dalba Spring. The mystery of the disappearance of Syrian Kays Elzarzer ends with the discovery of his body. The love of curiosity and discovering the unknown prompted the young man, Kays Elzarzer, to discover the Cave of the Dalba Spring in the countryside of Tardis, western Syria, with his school friends. However, the matter did not go smoothly, and Kays disappeared. After ten days had passed since his disappearance, the last attempt led to finding the body of the missing young man at the end of the long basement in the cave. Search operations completed their diligent work and revealed the most mysterious disappearances. After TARDIS Governor 8 renewed its operations on Thursday morning with the presence of a specialized committee from various parties. This cave witnessed the filming of the most famous drama series during Ramadan, especially Alzine series. It is known that this cave witnessed the filming of the most famous drama series last Ramadan, especially Alzheimer series. It is known that this cave witnessed the filming of the most famous drama series last Ramadan, especially Alzheimer series. The Cave and the Unknown Fate The civil defense team searched again inside the cave and its surroundings, as well as in the river near the cave, more than four times in a row, to no avail. Ten days passed, without a single clue to solve the mystery of his disappearance, until the body appeared. The director of civil defense in TARDIS, Brigadier General Munder Al-Ibrahim, had previously announced that the search operations had stopped after reaching the end of the cave, or to a closed site as a result of heavy cave demolition, so that a new search operation between the cave and the river could resume, and police dogs may be used for the same purpose. Rescue teams from the civil defense forces and a team of volunteers inside the cave, with the participation of divers, continued to comb the bottom of nearby Lake Dreech, which is connected to the cave through narrow channels, without finding any traces of benefit to the search operations. Impossible Return The story began on February 26, when the young man Kays El Zarzer, accompanied by eight of his high school friends, entered the cave to see and explore it. The return of the young starling alive after this period is considered impossible, according to what observers reported. The young man's father appreciated the efforts being made to uncover the fate of his son, whose case had received sympathy, not only in his village of Doba Raslan, but throughout Syria, and had become an issue of public opinion. Meanwhile, the specialized security authorities released the eight students after arresting them pending investigation, and their testimony spoke of all of them leaving the cave except for Kays, and they tried to search for him and call him, but to no avail. Investigations did not indicate any criminal motives or suspicions related to his disappearance, nor is there any evidence that he had any disputes with anyone, as confirmed by those close to him. Modern Collapse Geological Sciences Specialist Jamal Aldin Al-Sheikh attributed the disappointing results and the failure to find the young man, Kays, to the lack of auxiliary factors such as bringing trained dogs to follow his trail, or devices that detect his location through heartbeats, which are devices that appeared among foreign rescue teams during the earthquake disaster on the 6th. From February 2023, without it, the loss of life would have been high. He continued, there are also no geological plans for this cave. The old belief was that it was small, and it had an extension of up to 400 meters. It was an ancient water stream that was diverted due to collapses within it and headed east about 300 meters to form the current and abundant water spring. The Sheik geologist pointed out that after penetrating into the cave to its last borders, a recent collapse was seen, which may be related to last year's earthquake, and all that is feared, according to his interpretation, is that this collapse is due to blocks that collapsed on the young man, or it is likely that he is not present in the cave, but perhaps it was washed away by the river into the adjacent Drakish Dam. He added, if the body is found in fresh water, it will float to the surface within a week. There is an incident similar to the drowning of a child in a river, whose body was found a week later. Dangerous Caves A member of the board of directors of the General Authority of the Syrian Geological Society, engineer Basil al kadib explained how the cave was formed from the inside, saying that its topography is inconsistent, adding that the cave is strange of its kind, and different from many of the caves that I have seen, and all the talk is about forces outside the context of nature or sorcery forces. It is only out of ignorance, rumors, and myths. Regarding the presence of bone remains inside the cave, Al-Khadib indicated that they may belong to ancient animals, 
which is a very natural thing as it was a dwelling, a refuge, or a burial ground for rituals. He pointed out that animals cannot live in these caves due to humidity or cold, and their presence is limited to the first part of the cave. The cave, that is, a few meters from its door, while the only animal that has adapted to live inside it is the porcupine, at a depth of only 10 meters. A member of the board of directors of the General Authority of the Syrian Geological Society, engineer Basil al kadab explained how the cave was formed from the inside, saying that its topography is inconsistent, adding that the cave is strange of its kind, and different from many of the caves that I have seen, and all the talk is about forces outside the context of nature or sorcery forces. It is only out of ignorance, rumors, and myths. Regarding the presence of bone remains inside the cave, al kadab indicated that they may belong to ancient animals, which is a very natural thing as it was a dwelling, a refuge, or a burial ground for rituals. He pointed out that animals cannot live in these caves due to humidity or cold, and their presence is limited to the first part of the cave. The cave, that is, a few meters from its door, while the only animal that has adapted to live inside it is the porcupine, at a depth of only 10 meters. While the people of the village of Dwer Raslan stressed the need to pay attention to this place, especially after its wide fame, one of the adventurers in an association specializing in exploring wildlife warned of these cliffs and caves, and said, during our journey inside them, we cannot do without a helmet, fortified clothing, equipment, and other food. This must be the case, and this sad story of young Kays must be a lesson to teach the adventurous generation to check dangerous places before entering them. Geological engineer al kadab stressed that all caves are dangerous for non-specialists or professionals, especially those whose depths have not been explored before, and that none of them should be entered unless they are explored and provided with lighting and guides. Thank you.